Uh, my name is Dr. Reza Sayed. I'm a first year family medicine resident at East Carolina University currently. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Uh, cost of living in Aruba, safety wise, um, the accreditation of the school, how uh, we're perceived in terms of like the community when you're applying for residencies and stuff like that, if there was some wherewithal. Honestly, like it's all of what you make of it, regardless of where you go to school, uh, what kind of um, try, like things you go through uh, prior to this, you're, everything is really self-driven. It's what you make of it. So if you're a motivated person, you're, you know, feel like you're able to do it, most likely you will be able to. So, you know, take that opportunity. So yeah, I had a very unique perspective. I went through the pre-med program as well. Um, it, it did prepare me pretty well in terms of rolling over into the first semester of MD, um, like MD1, that was very helpful in terms of preparation. Uh, the clinic, like the basic science portion, I feel like was taught pretty well in terms of using the system-based uh, teaching and those kinds of things. It's how the American medical schools use it. And so it's very helpful in learning in that kind of manner. And then in terms of the clinical aspect of the education, doing your hospital rotations, I honestly think that is the most important part of medical school. And so your, where you rotate, who you work with, and what kind of experiences you have based on that dictates a lot in terms of what you do in the future. And yeah. So I chose family medicine, actually. It, the opportunity to be able to do a lot of different procedures, never get bored in terms of what I'm seeing on a daily basis of my uh, patient load, what kind of ca cases and things I see. I don't really get uh, bored in terms of that. And then there's a lot of opportunities after the fact. Once you complete your uh, residency in terms of fellowship applications, I have a lot of various interests. I'm interested in media health and in sports medicine as well. So those opportunities drew me towards family medicine and definitely not being bored. Uh, I'm currently a first year medical, uh, first year resident at East Carolina University Vidant Medical Center. Uh, it's located in Greenville, North Carolina. Uh, so the process of applying to residency was actually, it was very nerve wracking, uh, you know, putting yourself out there. That's like the one time you're taught like in life, like, oh, you don't want to like over brag or, you know, boast about yourself. You want to be a humble person. But this is like the one time in your life that you're told to, you know, try to sell yourself, make yourself as appealing as possible to your programs that you're applying to. And then you learn a lot about yourself as well. So, you know, it's a very good self-reflective process that you gain a lot of experience from. And, I had a great experience with it. Uh, it's at East Carolina University Vidant Medical Center. It's a level one trauma center located in Greenville, North Carolina. It's like one of the top 20 biggest hospitals in the country. So I'll tell you, like, I, I've, I haven't had too much experience yet because I'm just starting out. But my last patient was, um, so I'm not going to divulge any patient information or anything like that. I'm not going to violate HIPAA, but uh, she was uh, attacked by a coyote. She lived in rural North Carolina, so she had like scars on her arms, flank area, legs. She was attacked on both sides of her knee, and so she was a very, um, you know, she was very jumpy and anxious, very, uh, you know, nervous in terms of like getting to being touched on those areas. So she had to be taken to the operating room to be get the wounds and stuff cleansed out. Um, but at, before she did that, I had to actually go in and stick a needle into each one of her wounds and put in the, because it was a uh, coyote attack, I had to put the rabies, immunoglobulin and vaccine into all her wounds. And so I was sitting there like I was like squeezing her hand, like giving her some medication to like relax her a little bit and then as I'm doing this I'm going through each wound and like sticking the needle in there and like filling it out before she goes into the operating room to get worked on to make sure she doesn't develop rabies and so you know it, it shows you a lot you need to still work on your human side of uh, like your bedside manner your humanistic side as well as being knowledgeable you need to know what to do in a timely kind of fashion so balancing all those responsibilities is what goes into being a physician and I think it's it's a wonderful experience and wonderful job. If you're interested in being a doctor, I'd say, I mean, pursue it at whatever cost it may be to you. Like, if you really feel that strongly and you want to make an impact on people's lives, you should take that opportunity. The school is a wonderful chance uh, for you to make these connections and expand your horizons in terms of where you want to work and what you want to do. And if you find that after going through this education that it's not for you, there are other opportunities. You know, using a medical degree, you don't have to just be a doctor. So it's not going to limit you in terms of that, but it does open a lot of doors for you. And so I would highly recommend it. 
Oh man, Xavier University did a wonderful job preparing me. I, I, I had specifically Dr. Neelam and Dr. Dubé, they did a great job. Uh, Dr. Neelam actually teaches you everything you need to know about being a doctor in terms of examining the patient, what the examination finding means, that one class really, if you get a good understanding of it, it makes a huge difference and it really prepares you well. So kudos to her. <laughs> Oh, so obviously the warm, inviting faculty, the area that you live in, and then the clinical rotations, I think. Those are really places that you excel in, and those are uh, opportunities for you to shine and get to work with wonderful physicians that are practicing in America, uh, in the United States. They have programs and stuff that they're affiliated with, and so those connections, they're very useful in terms of advancing your career and making those um, meaningful connections.